Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and I am starting a new series, Python with AWS. In this video series, we are going to learn how to manage a AWS infrastructure with Python. End of this series, you will able to manage your AWS environment with the Python. Also, you will able to manage infrastructure has a code by using any tools like Terraform, CloudFormation or Ansible. I divided this series into different parts where we are going to write a Python script for AWS resources. For example, if I want to set up a EC2 Linux instance in a AWS, I required many components or resources like VPC, subnet, public or private IP address, storage, AMI or AWS key pair. Instead of writing a big Python script to set up entire project, we are going to write and learn a small Python script to manage individual resources. In the first video, we are going to check and validate if AWS key pair is already exist if not create the aws key pair for ec2 instance let's begin i am using pc charm for the python development aws credentials are configured in my environment variable hence my pc charm can communicate to aws resources let's start with a comment We are going to use Boto3, a Python module or library that is written to manage two AWS resources. You can import all the features and function of Boto3 like this. Create a variable and assign the value the name of your key pair now i am going to create a client for buto3 and this will be for ec2 resource type in the first part we are going to check and validate ec2 key pair is already available in my environment or not because in 99% of time you don't require to create a new key pair you just require to map your EC2 instance with existing key pair we will hold all the output of the command into response variable we are going to describe all the key pairs in my environment this command will pull down all the keys in my environment but I want to check a specific key for my environment so I am going to filter my output I am going to filter my key and value will be key name I already assigned the key name into the variable key enum this is only one filter at this moment you can add many filters for your response so you can see in my account i have already ec2 key pair so let's print the response and run the program now you can see here we got a json format output this is our key pair detail it means that our key is available let's test it if the key is not available i change the key name that is not available and you can see here we got a json output but it is not related with key pair now next step is create the rules to validate that key pair is exist or not 
let's understand the output when p is available this is the output when p is available if p is not available this is the output the outcome in a list with the existing key pair you will see data for the key pairs if the key pair is not available the list is empty for the key pair you will see only response metadata this response metadata is also available with existing key so we will apply the logic on metadata we need to identify what is a difference between existing and non existing key pair the only difference i can see is a content length for the existing key pair the content length is 484 and for not exist key pair key length is 221 so we will build our logic on content length now we will learn how to extract or get data from a list we will use the get function and we are going to extract data for response metadata this is the available on zero index so we are getting data from response metadata and this is the index location it is available on zero index our required information is located into dictionary within the http header array so again we will get the information with the get command this is the second array again it is available on zero index all the values are in single dictionary look at here it is closing here so all the information on index 0 so it represent a zero index so we are here now now we require to extract this information content length so we will go with again get function and this time there is no list or dictionary we simply trying to read a value from key pair the output of this command is going to store in this variable it is not a sound proof or optimize way for the validating a condition but for the learning purpose it is a best approach you explore more and more conditional let's run this command when key is not available and you will see the output of content length is 221 so we will create a logic based on the output now let's validate it run this command if key doesn't exist and you can see here key does not exist condition is false let's validate if key is available and you can see here he is available so this is the first part of this script second part is that 
if p is not exist or available let's create it now we are going to create a key pair in else statement ec2 dot create underscore key underscore key pair will create a key pair and give the key pair name this is your key pair name this complete command will create a key pair with name ec2 now you require to download a key pair to login your ec2 instance once key pair is created you will not able to download from the console so what you can do you can download the content of key pair in a file on your computer let's provide the file name where do you want to write a content of key pair i want to download my key pair in ec2.pm file i am opening the ec2.pm file has a write option so that i can write a content of key pair in this line we are writing or downloading the key pair into ec2.pem file key pair dot key material will write the content of key pair into pem file that's all the complete python script to search and validate key pair if it is not available create it let's try to run it okay you can see here key does not exist and it is created a new key let's validate it yes it created a ec2 key pair let's validate it also created a key pair at my local machine that is ec2.pem file this is my private key for key pair that's all in this video next video we are going to search validate and create ppc and security groups thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye